Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and today I thought I'd do a little short one on design, because design is one of the things that can cause us an awful lot of problems, and or at least we think so, because design tends to be complicated, but it isn't. So I don't want you to think of it as complicated. I'm going to reach over and get my, get my pen, because... Here's how I like to think about it. Design is something that you have been doing all of your life. You just didn't know it. You've designed houses. You've designed living rooms. You've designed all kinds of things. And it is the same thing as it, it because design is design no matter where. It's the placement. It's the correct placement of items or shapes. So th think of it this way in a very simple manner. Now, I know this is oversimplification. There's a lot going on in design and there is a lot to learn in design. But if we can first get it down to simplistic forms, then it's not so hard. So we have the principles of design and we have the uh, elements of design. So I'm going to compare those two as if you're building a house. And if you're building a house, you want the foundation to be perfect. It's got to be sound. And that, that's your principles of design. That is your foundation for what your painting is going to be. Then your elements, I like to think of those as the as the fluff, the decorating, the, it's the color, it's the value, it's the texture. It's all of those wonderful things that we love to put on. So I'm going, but then there is something else with design that some people uh, don't know about, and I'm going to tell you about this, and it's the psychological effect of certain areas. So now I'm going to draw this out. Okay, now and, uh, I've drawn this for you, and I went and got another pen because I thought it, it needed it. Um, we'll see if this one works better so you can see it. Oh, much better. So this is the outside of your painting. That's better. <laughs> anyway, you can, you, one of the uh, design principles or one of the design composition is it by thirds. Those aren't exact, but you get the point. So these are very desirable places to put your center of interest in your composition. But there is a difference when you do this on the psychological effects that it presents to the viewer. And as artists, we need to know how the viewer is, is receiving this because it's kind of a thing that they don't understand and we need to understand it. So we need to know what we're doing. So this has more energy. This has a uh, uplifting feel to it. When the, when the center of interest is put in one of these spots, it is happier. It's got, as I say, it's got more energy. Now, the ones at the bottom, the these two at the bottom, they're calmer. They're lower key. You know? And that is, that's why landscapes are like this. They, they are painted with this in mind is because it's calm and people love them because they're calm. They don't, they, they don't have to think it's, they want that. They want to be able to look at this painting and know that it's something that they can just relax into. So knowing this though, makes a big difference 
in how and why you put your your center of interest where. If you want it to be high and have more energy, then you put it up here. If you want it to be calmer, you put it down here. So I hope that's helped. And there are the, I'm going to give you the principles and the, the uh, elements of design so that you know what they are. And here is what they are. The principles of design are rhythm, contrast, balance, movement, pattern, unity, and emphasis. And I figure what we will do is that we will go over all of these individually and show them in paintings so that we can really truly understand it. Because we as artists are very visual people. You know, you can talk to me all day, but show me something so that I can remember it. And then the elements of design, you know, this is the more of the fluff. This is more of the decorating thing. It's the value. It's the texture. It's line, shape, space, and color. These are the things that we love to do as artists. I mean, give us some color and we're all happy. So anyway, I hope this has helped a little bit because Knowing these little subtleties make a world of difference in not only your painting, but how they're perceived by the viewer. So I will see you in the next video.